governor if kitty dukakis were raped and murdered would you favor an irrevocable death penalty for the killer no i don't bernard and i think you know that i've opposed the death penalty during all of my life uh, i don't see any evidence that it's a deterrent and i think there are better and more effective ways to deal with violent crime we've done so in my own state and it's one of the reasons why we have uh, had the biggest drop in crime of any industrial state in america why we have the lowest murder rate of any industrial state in america but we have work to do in this nation we have work to do to fight a real war not a phony war against drugs and that's something that i want to lead something we haven't had over the course of the past many years even though the vice president has been at least uh, allegedly in charge of that war we have much to do to step up that war to double the number of drug enforcement agents to fight both here and abroad to work with our neighbors in this hemisphere and i want to call a hemispheric summit just as soon after the 20th of january as possible to fight that war but we also have to deal with drug education prevention here at home and that's one of the things that i hope i can lead personally as the president of the united states we've had great success in my own state and we've reached out to young people and their families and been able to help them by beginning drug education and prevention in the early elementary grades so we can fight this war and we can win this war and we can do so in a way that marshals our forces that provides real support for state and local law enforcement officers who have not been getting that kind of support do it in a way which uh, will bring down violence in this nation will uh, help our youngsters to stay away from drugs will stop this avalanche of drugs that's pouring into the country and will make it possible for our kids and our families to grow up in safe and secure and decent neighborhoods